Agroforestry is also one of the major aspects um, in agroecology. You'll find many times as farmers, you have a shamba and you clear everything and make it clean without even putting into consideration that trees actually play a very huge role in the success of your farm. Right here, we've planted more than 2,000 trees on our farm because when we came, it was almost like a desert. And the trees have actually been very beneficial to our crops. We have planted three different kinds of trees. One, we plant trees, um, we plant agroforestry trees that actually help to fix nitrogen into the soil. As I said, when we came here, the soil was not very good and we will not be able to get enough manure or enough fertilizer to actually make the soils be, you know, rich to be able to grow uh, food. So we planted trees, we plant nitrogen fixing trees, they fix nitrogen into the soil and actually help you get good crops. Then we've also planted f uh, crops for fodder because um, you know sometimes it can get very dry and my animals still have to get enough fodder to eat. So I plant a lot of Caliandra and Lucena which are agroforestry shrubs and they really do help to make sure that even during the dry season, I know they are evergreen trees eh, and shrubs, so even during the dry season I find that my, especially my cows and my sheep actually have enough food to actually take them through the dry season. And then we also plant a lot of indigenous fruit trees. In fact, most of the trees that we have in our tree nursery are indigenous because I find that we've actually forgotten about the indigenous fruits we used to eat. For example, when was the last time, maybe just to share, you ate a mzambarao? Our children don't even know what is a mzambarao. They have not even seen a mzambarao tree. But right here on our farm, we've planted a lot of those indigenous trees to make sure that we actually have fruits that are actually adapted to our climate and will actually do well in this particular area of the country. So trees are very important. And oh yeah, something else that the trees have done for us is that they actually have um, helped us to create a shade. You know, sometimes it can be very, very hot, but you find where the trees are, the crops are doing very well because they are not being affected by the hot scorching sun that would be able to compromise their quality. So the trees also help a lot with the shade.